Hey guys, Queso Man Rolls here. Today's tutorial is on how to create a flash intro like mine on my YouTube channel uh, using a free template you can download off the internet and Adobe Flash. This video was suggested by Flareburst. He's on YouTube. You can search his channel or click on his link in my description. Um, go ahead and give him a subscribe if you like this video or you like his videos. He's a real nice guy and this video is for him. Okay, um, uh, I'm gonna have the direct download link for the, um, for the template in the description because if you do it this way, because this is through the site Monster Templates where you're going to be downloading it off of, but if you do it their way, they want to get your information. See if you click download, it'll ask you for your name and email address right here. But if you just enter the direct download link that they'd send you in the email, then it works just the same. So go ahead and uh, download that file uh, by clicking on the link in the description. Uh, do it in a new tab so you don't close this video. But um, then just download it. It only takes a minute. And after you do that, you'll get this file right here. It's a zip file. All you have to do is extract it. Um, I'll extract it right here. Now open it up. And where you want to go is you want to go to Sources, then Flash, and this is the file you want right here. Open this in Adobe Flash. So I'm going to open up Flash, click Open, go to Desktop, and go to that directory, and open it up. If you get a message like this, just click OK. It doesn't really matter. Now, uh, you can press Enter, and actually, you can't until you go to the start of the video. But you can press Enter, and you can see what the video kind of looks like. Um, you're going to be changing everything in here. All the name and all the little details it says and stuff like that. Now, the way that you actually do that is over here in the library section. Scroll down and you will see all these things that say text. Go to text 00 and it shows a sample of what it is right there. So, text 000 is company name, which is this right here in the video. So the way that you edit this is double click on the little gear thing next to it. And I'll open it up right here. Now you can directly edit this using the text tool over here and just uh, clicking on it and you can change stuff around whatever. Um, and that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, the way I did on mine is um, I got gradient text and stuff like that using Adobe Fireworks. But um, probably you're just going to want to just change it to itself. You can change the color if you want, but it always looks nicer if you have something that matches with the video, or yeah, with the intro. So uh, what you have to do, just go through each and every one and see where it is in the video so they match up correctly. It takes some time, but it's really, it's not terrible. Um, so yeah, that, that'll just take a while, but uh, once you have everything edited, and you can always press enter to view the video as it is. It'll be a little laggy, though. It'll look better once you finally publish it. So once you're done, and you've got everything exactly the way you like it, go up here to File, go down to Export, and Export Movie, and save it to where you want to save it. Um, you can save it in a variety of formats. I suggest doing it in an AVI, because... Uh, that's just for me, I guess, because I use Camtasia Studio, and it recognizes that and can use that, I think. Uh, but really, it depends on uh, just what kind of format you want to use it for. So I'm just going to do it to an AVI. Um, we'll just leave this stuff the same. I'll do it in HD, although I don't think it actually ends up being in HD. But And that doesn't take too long but I'm just going to show you mine. So then, uh, what you then do is go to the file. I have mine stored. And I got it out uh, when I did it as a WMV. And it comes up right here. Now, you can put this right in, um, but it kind of looks a little weird and stuff, and it's got some things because it's really meant to be on a website. So what you're probably going to want to do is watch that final uh, recording. And, sorry. And, um, 
what you want to do once you're watching it is screen record it and so you can so that way you can crop it to the right size cut out the parts that you don't want and it'll be in a pretty good quality because it'll be in like your screen recording quality that's what I did and probably you guys have noticed I made a real noob mistake I ran my mouse through the recording area when I went to stop the video uh... yeah try not to do that I was gonna change it but I'm just making a new one right now so it's not a big deal I guess mine's not gonna show because whatever doesn't feel like it but um... that's pretty much it you guys uh... it's pretty easy and once you're done you can upload it to youtube or insert it on all your videos to the very beginning and it works great so thank you for watching this video again this video was suggested by flare bursts um, the link to his channel is in the description as well as all the links mentioned in this video and thanks for watching